Thank you kindly, Madam Toastmaster Linda, and it's welcoming to see you with us tonight. Tonight, I will be doing my evaluation from a sitting position, only because I've got all the puppies in the room with me and it would be quite impacting if I do it from a standing position. This evening, Tucky delivered her speech from level two, innovative planning, mentoring. It's always difficult when we look at level two because it's all those speeches in level two where we have to self-evaluate our own self. And sometimes that can be very daunting for any person. Tucky's purpose of her speech was to share with us and inform us on mentoring. Tucky highlighted from the very beginning some people that have inspired her to be a mentor and also mentored her in her journey and her travels through the Toastmasters program. She introduced those people with some really personal stories, which brought those characters and those individuals to life. She used some wonderful vocal variety in that very initial stage. So all those speakers that she brought to life were emotionally challenged by her engagement. Her body language could have been enhanced if she was in a standing position because we would have been able to see those warm hugs and definitely how she highlighted valuable pieces of information with her hands. It was a little bit hard for us to follow some of those engagements in Tucky's sitting position. Tucky's body was really highlighted as she pointed out three valuable pieces of information that you need to share with your audience when talking about mentoring. Not only talking about you being mentored, but also your mentoring role of others and also your life as a protege. And Tucky clearly shared all three aspects of this process and shared some wonderful insights and stories, but more, imp more importantly to me, the emotion that Tucky added to my role's not going to change because I'm going to be mentoring into the future. So she knows that those aspects of the mentoring role is ever evolving. And it's one of the things that I've highlighted quite frequently in my evaluation of Tucky. The only point that I will give Tucky to consider into future presentation is with her conclusion, she could have highlighted all that information that she shared. Being a mentor is a vital, important role for me. Not only do I enjoy the mentoring role by sharing skills with future people, but I valued the information that I got from people as a mentee. And as a protege, I gathered that knowledge and it enhanced my journey as a Toastmaster. Could have been one way that Tucky might have highlighted everything that she shared with us in her body. Thank you and back to you, Madam Toastmaster.